Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that is a 2021 GT500, man. 760 horsepower under the hood, that supercharged 5.2, kicking it out, hooked up to that seven speed dual clutch transmission. I mean, this thing shifts on a dime. Actually, what is it, 80 milliseconds, I believe it is, in between shifts, it's just amazing. I tell you, one of my favorite cars to drive, and I have driven this car. This car's got just over 19,000 miles on it, and I put every one of those miles on this car. I love this thing. The only reason it's on the block right now is because I got a new one coming in. Gonna change colors, guys. She is absolutely gorgeous. Now, it's got the Expel paint protection on the whole front of the car and it is looking sweet. I mean, you cannot tell it. The hood, the front, the uh, louvers, the front fenders, everything has on there. And you, right here's a good spot to look. The fender's got the Expel on it, the door does not, and it is, I mean, you cannot tell the difference between that. Just gorgeous. Of course, the car is just, I, I love this thing. That's why I'm getting another one. Just so much fun to drive. Not a mark on it anywhere, looking sweet. And one of the really cool things about this car is it does not have the Recaros in it. Now the Recaros are cool if you're gonna race the car, but as a daily driver, these seats are so comfortable. They're air conditioned, they're uh, heated, um, they're electric. I mean, just everything about them is cool. Now this car does have the carbon fiber package on it, so that's cool. It's got the handling package on it. It's got the tech package. And then it's got the uh, stripes on it also. Those are the vinyl stripes. Uh, the little gurney flap comes with the handling package, which is very cool. Now I'll pop up in the trunk. We got some extras in here too. With the handling package, you get the oil separator, which I never installed. It's still in the box. Uh, it's got a car cover here. It's got the uh, setup for the uh, license plate for the front of the car. Of course, we don't have a front license plate, so we didn't put that on there. And then it's got the box here with all the goodies in it. It's got, you know, the manuals and the little uh, thumb drive, and then it's got like a little supercharger in there. All that cool stuff's right there in the trunk. So at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment on any of our cars. Obviously, we know we own this one because I've been driving it and we check everything out. So we're gonna put this baby up on the lift and we're gonna show you just how clean the bottom side is. And we're gonna show you everything you need to know. So call Tom anytime and let him park this dream in your driveway. for my last ride in my GT500. I'm gonna miss this baby. Now this is actually the second one I had. I had one last year, drove it all through the summer. Again, drove this one all through the summer. Uh, she is just an amazing car and I plan on, like I said, I've got another one coming. So just, I, I love these things. Even when I go out of town, I always try to rent a Mustang, whether it even be, even the ones with the uh, little, uh, Eco Boost motors in them, just so much fun to drive. So comfortable too. I mean, it feels more like, um, you know, you get into some of these cars and they're just not comfortable. The nice thing about this is you can reach everything, you can see everything. Some of the cars you feel like you're sitting really low in. You're, you're sitting up in this car if you want to. You can lower the seat down. And that's one of the cool things that I uh, pointed out earlier that uh, this has got the stock seats in it, which they're heated and cooled, or it's are controlled right down here. Um, very, very cool. I just love this car to death. And we can park this dream in your driveway no matter where you live in the world. Just a blast to drive. 
Now, I drive 50 miles each way back and forth to work. So I put 100 miles a day on just driving back and forth to work. And I just love this thing. Um, picked up a pickup truck to drive through the winter. I've been driving it for the last three or four days. And man, do I miss my Mustang. <laughs> This thing is so fun to drive, especially out on the expressway when you want to pass somebody. Now you can see down here on the dash, now what's cool about this thing is you can change the dash. There's all kinds of different settings and you could spend a week figuring out how to work everything on this thing. I suggest you get on YouTube. There's a lot of guys that have a lot of uh, uh, little specials on how you can switch from this, that, the other thing. Now the controls that I mess with down here is traction control. If you hit that button one time, it'll take traction control off so you can spin the tires. And if you hold it up, it'll take uh, the advanced track off, which advanced track is when you go around a corner fast, like if you're gonna slide a little bit, it'll take the accelerator away from you. So if you wanna take turn that off, you can do that too. And then you've got your modes and you get your exhaust mode. Um, so it's I've got it on loud exhaust right now because I like to wake up the neighbors. And then you've got all your controls on the um, steering wheel also so you get your radio controls and you got all your different settings on there so i mean there's just a ton of stuff this thing will do like i said got a lot of learning to do when you get in this thing so guys we're going to put it up on the lift and show you all that technology on the bottom side and under the hood all right we're underneath the gt500 now and man is it cool under here too we're going to start out with the exhaust it's got the active exhaust that i was telling you about you can see the flapper right inside there that flapper moves around and that's what controls the exhaust. Another cool thing with the exhaust, you can actually go onto the Ford program on the uh, app and you can actually set it to start in quiet mode in the morning if you don't want to wake up your wife. Now underneath here, you can see all the aluminum's looking sweet. Now on the uh, center section here, the rear end housing, you see these pipes going out. These actually go to a cooler back there. So as the rear end gets hot, it actually gets that fluid cooled which is super cool. Uh, you can see all the uh, stickers are still under here, all the paper stickers are everywhere. I mean, these rear end housings, and of course, it's independent suspension back here, just got braces running in every direction. You can see the floorboards are all just beautiful as can be. The exhaust is completely stock on this thing. Again, more paper stickers under here still. And then this is that world famous seven speed uh, dual clutch transmission. Now, a lot of people think it's an automatic transmission. It really isn't. It is a manual transmission that gets shifted automatically. One clutch controls two, four, and six and reverse, and the other one does one, one three, five, and seven. Say that three times fast. So that's why it can shift so fast. Uh, oil drain plugs here, uh, change the oil every time it asks me to. The car actually keeps track of the use and all that and it'll flash on the dash once it, when it wants to change the oil. The oil filter is right up here. I've been using a long extension and get in there and you take off the housing and then slip the other filter on. Now one thing to be cautious of, some of the other filters for the other cars will actually fit. You want to make sure you get the filter that is for this GT500. And I believe it's also for the GT350s. You can see the nose is in beautiful shape. Now the nose on this car is pretty low. You cannot pull up to a curb on this thing. And the nose of the car is about two feet longer than it looks when you're in the car. So make sure you stop short so you don't mess up this nose. Uh, the tires are badass on this thing. It will hold the road. A lot of fun driving up and down Cloverleaf uh, exit ramps. These are 305 uh, 30 20s up front. And of course those gigantic Brembo brakes, those things are monsters. Um, just gorgeous. And it will stop guys. Probably the best stopping car I've ever been in. You can see down here how even all the ground effects here, everything's looking sweet. Now out back, I mean, some people might say these tires are slick. You can see the wear bars in here. That's just what these tires look like. These tires are designed to grip. They actually do pretty good in the rain too. Um, let's see, yeah, these are three, I know what the size is. They're 315, 30, 20s out back. And again, Brembo's back there. Then you've got your parking brake. Now when you shut the car off, you'll hear that parking brake clamp down so you don't have to set it yourself. Well, let's lower this baby down and take a look at that Cobra motor under the hood. 
All right, I'm going to show you how to open the hood. We've already popped it down there by the, uh, your driver's leg here on the left side. Um, and then you come out and you do the hood pins. You got to kind of shake the hood a little bit, push that pin down, come over here, push down a little bit. And then it's actually got another secondary latch right here to open it up. And there she is, baby. 760 horsepower, 5.2 with that big old supercharger sitting on there. And what's really cool is the guy who builds the motor signs the motor. So that is super cool. And of course, you can see everything under here looking just as clean as can be. Of course, the air cleaner's in here. Um, oil goes in right here. Um, just, it's an amazing piece, guys. Um, just had a blast with this car. Like I said, this is actually the second one of these that I've had and driven. So I've gotten, I don't know, probably about 40,000 miles of seat time in one of these. Just had a blast. Plan on getting another one. So let me park this one in your driveway. Call Tom anytime.